All right, so when you have the frame for the Kimura, what's really cool about this, and we work that before the guy gets you on the cross face, okay? We're gonna see the bottom side mount Kimura frame setup, okay? So I have a double frame on the guy, keep trying to control me. So here, look, my elbow starts to push his shoulder here. I turn, and then here, I never go for the Kimura, okay? I kind of crunch to get my elbow close to my body, and then when I extend, I extend his wrist, okay? Now I do the frame. You see how the frame is? No wrist. And here right now, what's really cool is, as I get flattened, if he tries to circle towards my head, go ahead. My frame is blocking his hip. He cannot go anywhere, okay? From here right now, I start scooting my hip towards him and facing the opposite direction. And one thing that's gonna happen is, either he's gonna tap or roll over with me, okay? Because he has to protect his arm. So if I try to go for the position, this is likely to be the case. He's gonna roll, okay? Now you're gonna do what we call the pillow leg. You're gonna move your hip towards the guy's uh, head, hide your leg behind his head, and the other leg goes over the chin, stretch the chin out, okay? As you do it now, you let go of the pillow leg and post your hand on the ground. So if he tries to turn towards me, I'm holding his chin with my top leg. Now I start rotating, push myself away, okay? This is how I do the frame. I don't have to go with the hand. Now I post my hip on his body, rotate facing his face, and here I have the frame with the full uh, Kimura ready to rock.